Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. I hope that everyone is staying safe and doing okay. Uh, in today's video, obviously, I'm doing another weekly Forzathon guide. Now, this week's Forzathon called Long Tons of Fun wants you to use uh, an extreme off-road class vehicle to complete all of this week's challenges. So, without further ado, we're going to get stuck in and have a look at what cars we can pick from. So obviously if you go under your garage, uh, you will see a, a variety of extreme off-road cars when you filter them. Uh, now, there is a, quite a few, but personally I went for the Bowler EXRS. Uh, the reason being I use this one all the time for any sort of off-road racing. Now I've got three tunes for it, but the one I recommend using is the middle one, the S1 class. Uh, it's called Fastest S1. Uh, I recommend using this one because again, it's the one that I use majority of the time if I use the Bowler. Uh, I say it's not too overpowered, it's still got 1300 brake horsepower, um, but it's actually a really easy tune to use and it should help you throughout all of the challenges. Now the first one just wants you to win three cross country events uh, in your extreme off-road vehicle. Now of course um, I went and created a race for you guys to use, it was one I created a while ago. So if you head over to the Ambleside Rush Cross Country Race, um, when you go there, obviously you can show all blueprinted events. So you set up your event for solo mode, or you can do it in co-op if you really want. Uh, when you go over to custom events, uh, you can hit the search button. Um, and then if you type in the share code 622-388-275, uh, it will pop up with the race I've created and of course it's one of those races I've done uh, where I take the AI out of the track so you can just blast past um, and all you have to do is win this three times uh, and you complete the first challenge. It's actually a really really easy one. The race itself takes I don't know, the best part of 15-10 uh, seconds. Um, the loading screens are longer to be honest but it's a really easy first challenge there now the next one wants you to earn 20 wreckage skills in your extreme off-road vehicle uh, and as per usual i headed over uh, to the greendale airstrip where there's a ton of stuff to smash into now you can do this wherever you want because there is loads of smashable objects across the whole map um, but personally i prefer the airstrip because I just know where everything is um, and there is again loads of smashable items in a small space um, you know so it's really easy to rack up 20 wreckage steals it might take about five minutes or so um, but all you have to do is just smash into shit that's it <laughs> nice easy second challenge there it really doesn't take too long um, and again it doesn't matter which extreme off-road vehicle you're actually using for this um, because yeah it's easy whatever you're in uh, now the last challenge just wants you to earn a total of nine stars uh, from danger signs now the best thing is this can be done on any danger sign you want it can be done on three different ones or the same one uh, i went for the ambleside edge because to get three stars on this you only need like 650 feet um, and the best thing about it is all you have to do it if you get those three stars is do it three times and no more uh, of course it doesn't matter how many attempts you get you don't have to get three stars on every attempt it just saves a bit of time and it makes life easier if you do get three stars on each attempt. Uh, so actually that's a nice and easy final challenge to end off on there. Uh, especially with that jump, you don't really need to get a ton of speed to get 650 feet. Uh, so it will be a very, very easy challenge. And of course, it's really quick to just drive back and do it over again. And you just repeat that uh, two more times after your first run. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and I really, really hope it helped you out if you need any help. But of course, I know you're all fools of pros by now. Um, and lastly, I want to say I hope you're all staying safe. Make sure you continue to do so um, and obviously follow your government's advice wherever possible. I feel like I'm sort of just sort of a spokesperson for various governments here. I'm not trying to sound nerdy or anything, but obviously just want you guys to stay safe. Anyway, a massive thank you for all your support. Hope you enjoyed. Massive thank you, take care and goodbye.